Hello, my name is Carsten Beinecke. This video shows how Plant Reporter creates versions and revisions of reports and how they can be compared. First, we take a look at a simple PinID drawing with some equipment I want to use for the equipment list. So let's create an equipment list now. I select the report configuration and click on Print Export as always. There is a new dialog now. You can either create a version or a vision or compare two versions or revisions. Because of the settings, versions start at zero and will be automatically incremented. In the file name, you can use the version number to distinguish the different files. The report shows the equipment data of the project at the time the report is created. Let's make some changes to the equipment. I copy one pump and assign a tag and delete another pump. Then I change the model number of the two pumps. Finally, I define the model number of the two vessels. The drawing will be saved and a new revision will be created. Now I select revision. In the setup, revisions start from A and also will be increased automatically. You are shown the new current state of your data. So now I have version 0 and revision A. How do I compare them to see the changes between the two versions? I click on print export again, but now I select the compare option. I select the first version or revision and then select the second version or revision. All versions and revisions you have ever created for a report will be available. There are several options we ignore for now. I click the create button again. What we see now is that pump P3 was deleted, that pump P1 is new, that the model number of P2 changed from 0815 to 991234 and that the model number of the two vessels changed as well. With that, you never lose track of any change you made during your project's lifecycle. Now we look at the 3D example. I have a short line of line number 1000, for which I create a bill of material as version 0. Now I will extend the line, hence creating more pipe length and more elbows. I also place a valve in the line and assign a tag. Now I create a new version of the report. We see that the next version is 1. The report shows us again the current state of our project. Now we compare versions 0 and 1. What we see is a lot of new stuff. For the amount column we now see the differences in quantities rather than the old and new value. Let's insert another valve of the same type. What we will do is change the tag of the first valve to W2 so the new valve can get W1. Let's create the first revision of that report. So far so good. Now let's compare. I select version 1 and revision A. We see less pipe is needed because an additional valve was inserted. We also have two additional flanges and one additional valve. We also see that the tag of the one valve has changed and the valve with tag W1 is new. Finally, you can also create a report of all your versions and revisions. You see here an example where versions and revisions are ordered by date and time. This gives you an excellent overview of the history of all your report versions. I hope this video gives you a good idea about what this versioning feature can do for you. A lot of options we didn't show in this video, but will be shown in an additional detailed technical video. If you have questions for the product or this new feature of Plant Reporter, do not hesitate to contact us. Thanks for your attention.